For more than 12,000 years, dog has been man's best friend. In 2005, Mkombozi saved a child named Angel. Could it be because of the bond? Or could it be because of the motherly instinct? Let's find out. I'm Jean Gilchrist, I'm the Director of Animal Welfare for the Kenya Society for Protection and Care of Animals, um, better known as KSPCA. We do a lot of rescuing of animals that are in need, abandoned, injured. Um, we do a, a re big rehoming service from our shelter. Um, animals not wanted by people, we rehabilitate them and find them new owners, new homes. <clears throat> um, we do a slaughterhouse project as well. Um, we're very into humane slaughter of cattle and well, livestock generally, because it's very easy to be cruel <clears throat> when it comes to slaughtering animals and even transporting them. So we work very hard at that as well. We also work with donkeys, um, working donkeys, and we've got a big harness project to promote better harnessing and stop all these horrible sores that you see on them. And we're also trying to change the human behaviour towards the donkeys, not to overload, not to beat, and uh, generally treat them better. My, my name is Fred Atiaya. I work with the KSPCA. I'm actually the head of, one of the head of the kennels and I also help in nursing the animals. In Kenya, this was like a miracle because it had never happened before. People were really excited and all came to see because it had never happened again. Yeah, that was Mukombozi. Um, she's, uh, she actually ended up being world famous and uh, she found this baby on uh, a rubbish heap across at the race course and it was wrapped up in a pair of old shorts. So she picked the baby up, carried it across Ngong Road. Um, in fact, somebody saw her carrying this bundle and didn't know what it was and dodging the cars and took it home to her house. And um, the baby started crying, so the children thought, what is this? And um, they found it was a baby. They told their mother, baby was taken to hospital. And it was actually, she was actually in hospital for about three weeks in intensive care. She was only about two days old. So it was very much touch and go whether she would survive or not. My experience with dogs, I've come to realize that they share some of the characteristics like human beings. As they could sense danger, the way human beings sense danger. They, could, or they can also smell something that bad, the way we smell. And some of them are very clever and intelligent. If they discover there is something strange somewhere, they'll come and alert you. Dogs have saved children before. Well, there's been cases of dogs uh, hauling children out of rivers or even the sea once. There, there was a case um, I'm not sure where it was, a child uh, went too far out and the, the dog actually saw the child, started barking, uh, alerted the parents and went into the sea to help to save the child, though in fact the father did. That if the dog hadn't noted the child was, was in trouble, that child would have drowned. And then we've had cases of dogs alerting people and the house was in fire and barking and alerting the people during the night and then they could get out safely. No, animals do help and there are animals trained like the St Bernards in Switzerland 
They're trained to, you know, when there's an avalanche and somebody gets buried, they will go and sniff out the people and see, help to save their lives. Because she grew up in a compound where there were six children, um, you know, some of which were born when she was living there. And I think she <coughs> was very into the children and they were the only ones that really could go near her or touch her. So I think she was very used to children. Um, and I think she thought, you know, she's a very intelligent dog and it's very easy to, to put human emotions and thoughts to animals. But um, I don't think we give them enough credit sometimes. And I think she knew that this baby should go back to, to where the other children were to be looked after. I was here when Mkombos was brought here. Health-wise, she was a bit thin, you know, she had puppies. So you can imagine puppies were circling her and she wasn't getting enough to feed the, uh, the puppies and her herself. Because when she came in, she was covered in fleas and ticks. She was not even getting enough to eat. So she was very thin. Compared to now, where she's been given enough to eat, she's been washed, she's been vaccinated and also she had a lot of worms, which we've now dwarmed her. No, with kids, she's very friendly with them, and she'll always move near kids, especially when we have school visit. When children come here, she'll always get the attention. Since Mkombozi came to KSPCA, her life has changed, and her lifestyle has also changed. One, she's being washed once after two weeks, she gets a bath, she's brushed, she's been dewormed, we dewarm her once after three months. She's getting food at the right time, yeah, because we feed them at around two o'clock. So every day she knows at two o'clock, I'll be given food and like where she was, she was going to look for food herself. She might not have, no, she might not have. She probably, I mean, she's had puppies of her own and, um, they unfortunately all died. They were not very healthy. And, um, you know, she'd been used to caring. She'd been used to being with the children. Um, but I think there are male dogs as well that, that have rescued families and children. So it's very difficult to, to tell. Well, they're a, um, a street dog, wary of people when we first got her. Um, the first thing we did was sterilize her because um, animals can end up, you know, just being factories, baby factories, and there really are far too many animals in the world. So she was sterilized and vaccinated, and she got her confidence and became a member of our office staff, really, and an ambassador for, for the canine population. Nowadays, she doesn't go out anyhow. She'll only go out to help herself and come back in the office. She'll also go out to eat and then go back in the office. She's, we've given her a very good bed. Treat her dogs the way human beings are treated. Just need to feed the dogs, get the dog treated, wash the dogs. Because by washing the dogs, you are also getting rid of the parasites, which will bring uh, diseases to animals like... Uh, Tick fever, you'll have avoided it. You see, it's one of the dangerous diseases that affect dogs. I took her back for a reunion um, down at uh, Thomas Bernardo's home where the, the baby was. When we introduced them, um, Mook and Bozzi, she was a bit upset at being outside her territory because dogs are territorial. And um, so she looked at the baby and kind of looked away and didn't register. But then as soon as the baby started crying, she got very concerned, very alert, went and sniffed her and started trying to lick her face. So she got the reaction of a distressed baby um, and she was very concerned about it. If you don't treat a dog properly, it's rather like a child. Um, they, they need care, they need affection, they need attention. And if you give a dog attention and food and be its friend, you've got the best friend you could ever have, basically. Um, they're not like humans that are sometimes friendly 
as long as you're um, useful to them. They, they are unconditionally um, your animals. But you've got to work at it a bit. So many people get a dog and just plonk it in the compound and ignore it. But if you're a good friend to the dog, feed it properly, touch it sometimes. It's very important to touch the dog because if you look at dogs in packs, they touch each other and sniff and the human equivalent of patting them, then that is bonding and also talking to them. It doesn't really matter what you say. It's the tone of voice. It's a communication thing. And then you've got friend for life. Um, we took her in because um, we felt, you know, she was a bit in danger. Also the fact she might have been stolen. Uh, she might have been poisoned and the family couldn't feed her and she was crossing the road all the time. So we suggested that we took the dog. Normally, um, we might have rehomed her, um, but being a famous dog, everybody wanted her and that could have caused a lot of problems. And we decided that we saw that she was very good with children and we felt this would be a good ambassador. She could help the, the dog population and children to learn that dogs are good, good creatures.